This is Boomerang Grab for grade two. In Boomerang Grab, we're going to start with this really simple example and then move through complex examples and finally end up at, at an interesting little game. So here we're standing on the green circle and each time we have to throw the boomerang and our objective is to get to the number 10. So let's see, let's see, okay, here we go. Throwing it once and we get to number one. Throwing it twice, two, and your class should be chanting out uh, these numbers as we go through them. Um, so this is engaging for, they get to see the little circle going around, so it's nice and engaging in that respect. Um, so you're not going to be turning off the top kids in your class because it's pretty fast. And we've been successful. Yippee, we've got to 10. Okay. Now we go on to the next example. Here we're adding by two every time we throw the boomerang. So again, we can have the kids chant two, four, six, and we will get to 10. And it's another success. Now, even more impressive than successes are the defeats. And here we go. We're going to go two, four, and we're aiming for a 17. And this time we're going to fail. But we're not going to, we're, we're going to be a little bit of the silly professor, absent-minded professor, and we're going to go right through 17. So 16, 18, 20, and the kids in your class are not going to be screaming out, ah, stop, stop, you're going too far, and you're just going to be kind of absent-mindedly ignoring them. 28, there's something wrong. We're, we've skipped over it somehow, so we've not been successful there. Ah, darn it. Um, so it's important to give those defeats whenever you're um, describing a new game. That adds interest. Uh, now we're going to go to a slightly more interesting variant of the game uh, where we now have two options each time. We can either throw the, the boomerang for plus two or for plus one. So here we go. We're trying to get to 10 again. Go to four, go to six go to 7, we go to 9, and we get it, 10. There we go. And here we're trying to get to 12. And so we go 2, 4, 6, 9. Let's pause here. Hmm, what are we going to do now? Uh, we should go with plus 3, but a wrong choice is made, and you end up at 11. Now you're stuck. You can't go plus two or plus three. So your kids should realize that uh, you're, you're in big trouble here and there's no way to get to 12. So we failed there. And that failure becomes the first exercise. The exercises I'm going to have in white. So these are ones that you could print out. Um, so this is the one we've just done and you can do it successfully, of course. Uh, you can do this one successfully. Um, and you might ask for this one. You might ask them to find uh, all of the different solutions to it. So it's not just finding a solution. Once they find one solution, just say, oh, uh, give me another solution. Uh, the kids working on this problem, um, uh, you can do something similar with that. Is it possible? Is it not? You can ask them those kind of questions. For this uh, worksheet, what I'd like you to do is to say, find a number that's not possible to do. So is it possible to do 20? Of course. Is it possible to do 19? Well, yes, it is. So give them the, uh, the, the job of finding the biggest number that's not possible. And this would be for, for your kids who, um, who are understanding this the, the, the boomerang grab very very well and uh, likewise here what's the biggest number now this is a this is a pretty uh, tough little problem to find the biggest one for a grade two to find the biggest number that you cannot get with these two frisbee tosses but a very nice rich problem so those are the worksheets again the, the objective of worksheets is to differentiate so you give the easy worksheets um, to everyone to begin with, but then you differentiate after that. Okay, enjoy the game. And uh, there's a part B to this. So whenever you've finished, um, and if you want more boomerang grab, then
and please uh, look at the next the next little video.